now this video will show the surface marking of the lower limb you know the surface marking is very important because this is the surface projection of the structure clinically examination of the uh, i means the fracture and the other things are done by means of the surface marking in here we will see the visible landmark here and some palpable that is the bony landmark and this is help in the examination not only there is the line diagram also now the point of this lower limb that is the below the knee that is this point you see put a point over the tbl tuberosity who do it by means of a uh, bud and by means of a actually the powder we put at a point but it is not so prominent in the video that's why i use the marker pen so this is the point of the tbl tuberosity you see so what is the importance of the tbl tuberosity you know it gives insertion to the uh, ligament of patelli that is the expansion of the quadriceps this is the quadriceps muscle you see so this is the quadriceps and this is the uh, ligament of patelli now this is a point this is the head of the fibula fibula that is a stick like bone and this is the neck of the fibula in this neck of the fibula there is a point you see this is the point so you can palpate the neck of the fibula you can palpate the neck of the fibula and here an important nerve lies in relation so in the fracture here this nerve is paralyzed so if there is paralyzed the muscle of this compartment will be paralyzed and there is foot drop in this way so this is the known as the neck of the fibula now this prominence you will see this is known as the lateral malleolus i will give a point here the lateral malleolus so it has got important also the two long tendon of peroneus longus and brevis passes behind it and a vein passes behind it that is known as the short saphenous vein next point you will see that this is the medial malleolus you see this is the medial malleolus it is formed by the lower end of the tibia you see medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus are not in the same level the lateral malleolus is lower about half inch lower than the medial malleolus now what is the importance of the medial malleolus sometimes somebody actually fall in the hole so in the hole you will see there may be the fracture of the medial malleolus and this medial malleolus is also is uh, uh, give an important vein you see medial malleolus in front of the medial malleolus there is an important vein and the name of the vein is the great saphenous vein you can visualize in this figure so the medial malleolus has got tremendous important when there is veni section and after veni section there is putting of the cello tape uh, that means the micro tape here um, at the medial malleolus so this is the point another point is that you should get that is this is the first intermetatarsal space this is the second this is the third now first intermetatarsal space base this is very important here why because the artery is actually in here the name of the artery is arteria dorsalis pedis now this dorsalis pedis artery and posterior tibial artery which posterior tibial artery one can palpate here so it is important because of some disease that is known as barger disease that means pulseless disease it actually affects the most common in villagers 
and those who are taking the tobacco. So where you will see that gradually there is loss of blood supply. There is obstruction of the blood supply and this part becomes gradually becomes uh, actually necrosed and that produces gangrene. Gangrene means that is the death of the tissue. So in this way you can palpate the pulse. So the dorsally spadius artery, how you will do the arterial dorsally spadius? You will put a midpoint between the two malleoli. So this is the midpoint between the two malleoli. Now from here up to the base of the first metatarsal bone, you will give this line. So we will give during the examination two lines because the uh, powder is very uh, thin in amount. That's why. But here only one line is given. So this is the arteria dorsal spadius. Now one, how one can draw the posterior tibial artery? Now I tell the person to go behind. So here you will see this is the lower limit of the popliteal fossa. How you will say the lower limit? Because at the junction of the lower three-fourth and the upper one-fourth where the neck of the fibula lies, this is the lower limit of the popliteal fossa. And the upper limit of the popliteal fossa is the junction of the upper two-third and the lower one third of the back of the thigh. So this whole region is the popliteal fossa. Now if I draw a popliteal artery, how will you give the point? You will give point first 2.5 centimeter medial to the midpoint. So this is one point. Middle of the knee, this is one point and middle of the lower line this is another point so join this point by means of two lines as this popliteal artery very big so this is the popliteal artery location of the popliteal artery you can also do the um, tibial nerve how on the midpoint you will give a point here, from here you will give another point in the lower part in the middle. So connecting the two is the TBL now in the popliteal fossa. I make a single line in case of nerve because you see the nerve has got no lumen that's why single line. Now, next the posterior tibial artery. Posterior tibial artery at the lower border of the popliteal fossa, lower border of the popliteus muscle, this popliteal artery divides into posterior tibial and anterior tibial. So this is the first point of the posterior tibial artery. And the second point is that this is the tendocalcaneus or tendo achilles, midpoint between tendo achilles and medial malleolus, you will give here another point. So I connect these two point by means of a line. So this is the posterior tibial artery. In case of bulger's disease or pulseless disease, this artery becomes gradually is diminished in size and gradually the leg become gangrenous in stage and one thing when one thing is lost then you have to cut the leg to uh, actually give the life to the other parts because we have seen in the cooking in the other places which one is rotten we fruit cut the fruit piece away. If it is rotten, so that portion is good which you will keep. So the portion which you will keep that should be determined by the posterior tibial artery and the arterial dorsal spadius. 
Next is the deep peroneal now. Now where you will get where you will get the deep peroneal now? You will see now the deep peroneal now that is the 2.5 cm in front of the neck of the fibula. One should give a point here. And another is that is the midpoint between the two malleolas just lateral to the extensor hallucis longus. So this is the extensor hallucis longus and lateral to it. So this is the point. the deep peroneal so more or less you can get the points that is below the knee so thank you everyone